WorkHub is a business management tool designed by Yazi to help companies keep track of tasks, projects, customers, contracts, and many more. Today, we'll be looking at how to create a new lead in the WorkHub environment. A lead is a person who is interested in the product or service you sell. To create a new lead, move your mouse cursor to the menu on the left of WorkHub and click on Lead. A new window will pop up, displaying all the available leads if there are any. At the top of the new window, click on the button that reads New Lead to open the new lead form. Now, there are some things to take note of while filling the lead form. Like for instance, there are 8 categories under the status of lead. Prospect is an individual or organization that fits a seller's criteria to be a potential customer. Open is the initial status of a lead when created. In this stage, the lead has not been contacted or deemed qualified or unqualified. A lead, as previously said, is a person who is interested in the product or service you sell. Meeting scheduled means a meeting has been scheduled between the company and the lead. Meeting delivered means meeting took place between the company and the lead. In communication means the company is in communication with the lead. Sales qualified are leads that have been determined to have a good chance at converting into customers. And finally, customers. A customer is someone who buys from the company. In this example, we assume the individual is a lead. So we go ahead and click on lead. Next thing to take note of is the source. Under sources, we have direct prospecting, email, event, Facebook, Google, referrals, socials, and website. This is to tell us where we got our lead or where we got our potential customer. In our example, we assume we contacted our lead or we got our lead's attention via Facebook. Then whoever is creating the lead will have their name appear here. In this example, I am the person creating the lead, so my name appears in here. So after taking note of all these, you go ahead to fill the form. So first part of the form is the name. You type in the name of your lead. So mine is Robert Answer. The address of this lead. It can be a very, very elaborative address, an extensive one. I will go with a very simple one. So Abelengbe. Then the position of my lead. CEO. City. Accra. Email address. Robert at gmail.com. State. Well, we are not in the state, so. Um, website. If the lead whose details you're entering has a website you can copy and paste the url here or you can type the url in here country our lead is in ghana so ghana is already selected then the telephone number of our lead so i'm going to go with zero five four 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 okay then the lead value that is the value of the lead or let's say the net worth of the lead so let's see and it's in dallas so 120 dollars then the company in which the lead works i'm choosing abc Accra brewery company if there is any further description of the lead you can type them here otherwise don't type it anything finally you click on save now once you click on save you see a preview of what you have created from here if you know that the lead 
it's going to become a customer instantly you can just click on convert to customer to convert the lead to a customer instantly in this example the lead hasn't become a customer yet so we just go with the information we've typed in here and then end it so coming back to the lead window you will notice that robert answer has been created with every detail i specified so that is it for creating leads